What's up? This is Square2448 with the following Simulator 15 Heavy Rescue video. And today we're going to be en route to a car that slid down a hill and into a plow truck. And it is now stuck underneath it. So we're going to be taking the GMC flatbed rollback. And we're going to be taking the heavy rescue truck since the plow truck is full of sand and it's way too heavy to put up on the flatbed. And we're going to be using the winch to kind of pull the car out from underneath the truck. So we're going to start this up and make our way on over to the site. And now we do have police and fire on location. There's no injuries, which is good. But we are now making our way over with this awesome GMC flatbed truck. And I did get a lot of requests to do some heavy rescue videos, so I will definitely be doing some more. And if you do have any cool video ideas, let me know down below. We're going to turn out here. We will be driving a little slow since the majority of the town roads are not plowed out. But it seems like this road is pretty plowed out, which is awesome since uh, we won't have any troubles getting there or towing any of the vehicles back. But I think that the road that he was plowing out might not be plowed out. But uh, we'll see what happens when we get on See Now this is driving a little bit slow for some reason. But this is one of the coolest flatbed trucks that we have in the game. Since it has working uh, winches and a lot of lights on this. So once we get on scene, we're going to be turning on all the lights. So that uh, all the other drivers know that we are doing uh, some stuff. And they won't slide into us. And hopefully we don't get ourselves in an accident. But we are on the Borgen Home snow map pretty cool map it is plowable so let me know down below would you guys like me to do some snow plowing videos in fs15 uh, i am doing a lot more in fs17 but let me know down below now we are coming way too fast down this hill and that's probably one of the reasons why that car slid into that but it looks like the fire rescue truck right there is blocking off the roadway so we're going to turn our hazard lights on and our beacon lights look at that and i think we're just going to pull over here take a look so we have a uh, police over there and over there those are both SUVs which means it's good but look at this guys looks like this is really bad looks like it just destroyed the uh, back end of these truck which means that we have to tow this out which we're gonna be doing so let's see if we could turn this truck around and uh, get the winch working and I'm sorry that uh, these lights do not stay on but it's just how this mod is so we will, as we kind of turn around, we'll get the controls ready for this winch. Kind of speed up the process a bit. So uh, we're going to back up. And the winch is almost out. But I'm just really excited that we are doing some cool videos with Heavy Rescue. Especially with these winches. Since it's very realistic to use a winch. We'll get this back here. I think we're going to stop right there. Kind of turn. And let's see. We actually need to tilt this dump bed. We're going to tilt the bed. We also do have to watch out for that. So we're going to have to lower the tow bar. Kind of also helps with stability and makes so that we don't slide around and anything like that. We'll see if we can get this up underneath the car. And let's hope that we could just winch it up. That would be a lot easier. Looks like we are doing it, guys. It just came off and out of that truck. But look at the suspension. It definitely needs a lot of work. I mean, the whole back is still up in there, and the front tires are kind of just stuck there. But look, guys, we used the winch to pull it out. Very realistic, but look at that. It does actually have a Farming Simulator 15 license plate. That's very cool. But that suspension is pretty much gone on the front, especially with all the hood uh, damage. And I will be working on these cars, seeing if we could get some damage to show. But this thing we need to tow out of here. So I'm thinking that since the battery still works, we could put the plow up and uh, hopefully we could tow this from the back with that heavy wrecker since that's a lot of sand that uh, is way too heavy to, to kind of drive that truck up on a regular rollback. We'll put the tow bar up and I think we're going to keep our lights on and our hazard lights as we go back to the shop now. Hopefully we don't slide down this hill since it's a very icy out. But look guys, we got one vehicle removed. And we are definitely going to have to clear the other ones. But look at this awesome GMC truck. It is a little bit of an older truck, but it's doing a very nice job. So let me know down below, would you guys like me to use the F650 tow truck for the next one? And I cool other few trucks like that. But we'll hop in the first person view with working gauges. Awesome. Looks like the truck is slowing down just a little. So hopefully we don't slide down the hill or anything like that. 
but we are definitely making some good progress. You guys can see a back view there. And this is a pretty expensive car since it's an Audi, but still, that suspension really needs to be fixed. So I think that we would drop this off at a mechanic, but I don't know of any shops here on Borgen Home. So if we were on a different map, we would definitely just swing by the uh, shop and drop it off there instead of taking it back to ours. But look at that, guys. This is a great tow truck. And I do have my hazard lights on since we were actually going pretty slow down that hill. And it's just way too icy to uh, kind of go at full speeds. So we will definitely take it a little slow going down this hill. But I'm just very excited that we are doing more heavy rescue videos. A lot of you guys really do like these. And we're going to be doing some in FS17 once I get all the cool mods converted over. But we are back here at the tow yard. And I think that we're actually just going to place this down here. So we'll start to get the winch going out. And it will tilt it. Actually, we have to put the tow bar down. We don't want that going down. And this is actually a rollback. So this slides all the way out and also tilts very steeply also. Like, has a steep slope, if you would say, for that. But we're going to drag this down using the winch. And just the regular car weight is making it go down when we let off the winch. Awesome. So we're going to disconnect the winch. And I think be pretty realistic to come out here. Okay. Whoa, so we just disconnected that. Now I'm sorry, the Xbox controller has different controls than the uh, regular Farming Simulator 17. So we are going to kind of pull out here and uh, get this winch back in and also do that. So awesome. So we'll t lift up the tow bar really fast. That way it's not scraping the ground. And I think we're just going to park this. We won't pull the winch all the way back since I don't think it's needed. Well, look at that, guys. We did the first section of the job. So we're going to turn this off, and we're going to hop in the Kenworth Heavy Wrecker. This thing will definitely lift up that truck with no problem. Hop in the first-person view. One of the coolest trucks, and I'm very excited if somebody can get this into the new game with all the working functions, since this has a lot of functions. So I think for this truck, we will definitely try to lift up the... um plow and try to tow from the back since the back axles are pretty much damaged and if not we're going to have to do it from the opposite way which is still pretty realistic but I think if we had like a crane a rotator and we uh, use the rotator lifted the whole truck up onto a low boy I think that would have been very cool and that would have been a one-of-a-kind heavy rescue video since I do know that many companies do have a rotator where this whole boom on the inside moves and acts as like a mobile crane but for a tow truck uh, related calls so we're gonna see if we can lift it from the back we turn our hazard lights on all of our lights we actually need to lift this back up so that it does not scrape the ground and let's see I'm not sure if we could back up and uh, we'll kind of rotate the camera view lower that down let's see if we could back up pretty hard camera view but uh, let's see uh, hopefully we can lift it up this way if not we are going to have to do it the other way. So it looks like it is not working, which, I mean, is probably a collision problem. But that's not too big of a deal since we're going to still tow this truck. Now, uh, we do have to hop in the truck and just kind of put that plow in the V formation also. It can't be that way. Ooh, very little clearance, guys. Look at that. Almost hitting that. So before we attach to it, we're going to run in this truck. And uh, we are just going... To put it up in the truck does start up just that it does not drive but uh, we'll kind of do that I think that's perfect we could definitely get this tow underneath but it will hop inside lower it down we also want to turn our lights back on now the lights usually do turn off which is a little frustrating but I think just attaching it to the plow mount will be fine since that's actually attached to the frame looks like we got that awesome so we'll just take one quick look at it so look guys we got the plow truck up on it so we're gonna head back to the shop and uh, the police will definitely clear since uh there's no need to keep the road closed we'll try to turn around here very long truck if you would say almost hitting that house since a uh, very little clearance we're gonna turn our beacon lights back on and we're going back to the shop here and I look at this truck guys this is one great tow truck it's a Kenworth and I believe that this is either a T600 or a T800 
So it's a pretty beefy, uh, strong truck, which is perfect for us because we do need stronger tow trucks in our fleets to help us with rescues like this. But we are almost back to the shop where we're going to be going in a day. But if any of you know of any cool tow truck ideas for us, I will be looking into making one half the size of this in between a regular, like, car one in this. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know also on if you do have any cool heavy rescue ideas because I will definitely be looking at some of those. But we are coming down this hill now. And I mean, we are definitely driving in some snow. So I think we should find a way to put some chains on this truck. I think putting chains will definitely help us give us more traction also. But we are going to turn in here. Looks like we are turning in. Little bit of a challenge to kind of turn in. But we're going to place this next to that car. And I wish that actually we turned in over here. But I think we'll still be fine awesome so we're going to uh, lower it and uh, pull on out look at that guys we finished the job we did it and uh, the wreck is cleared so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know down below like I was saying if you do have any cool ideas thanks for watching and subscribe for more